Oh gosh, where do I really begin? I wish I had answers, or maybe at least just more clarity with exactly what it is I'm doing, whether that's here on YouTube or just in general. I feel there's always this pressure to have figured out your thing, whatever that is, and it's never been something that I've really liked, having to know exactly what your thing is. And I mean, at 22, yeah, I'm not necessarily supposed to have everything figured out. I don't think anyone really has everything figured out. But take a successful channel like, say, Peter McKinnon, he's he started with vlogs. They didn't really have a ton of views. Then he made tutorials, which was way more value focused. He built an audience there and now he can kind of vlog about whatever. You'd say the same for a whole bunch of different creators, whether that's Casey Neistat or David Dobrik, all sorts of people. They, they have the ability to just do whatever they want now, which is super cool. It sounds like a dream job. I mean, I think that's the reason why so many kids nowadays say they want to just be an influencer or YouTuber or TikToker now, I guess, <laughs> whatever the thing is. I don't currently know what that thing is that gets me to stand out on the platform, and I wish I had that. Because I'd want to have something that I could just be dead focused working on. Is then my thing to figure out what my thing is? Like, <laughs> is, that, is that a niche? Is that a, a thing I can explore? My thing is about not having a thing? It, it sounds weird because it's not that I don't want to work towards something I do. But it, it just can be frustrating when you're, you're unsure. Maybe what I have is something that's of value. You're here with me as I'm going down this journey of trying to figure out my thing. It's easy to get discouraged if you don't feel like you're making much progress. And, and I look back and I see how all over the map my channel has been. What started with Frisbee trickshot videos of me wanting to copy Brody Smith and Dude Perfect turned into so many different things up to the point where I'm at now in a, in a sense of growing that's super confusing to an audience because they don't know what to expect for what's coming next and so in some sense then I get worried of like what have I been doing etc but as of right now I've only uploaded 87 videos which is nothing to like shy away from that's awesome the fact that I've put that much stuff out there and honestly, I actually wouldn't take back any of it because I think the coolest part is being able to see that journey and being able to record what's been happening over this time period. And I feel like that's what I want to do more of. If I could, I would just want to record my experiences and have that be my thing. Now, just me being me is not enough because, well, at least usually that's not enough. Maybe I can make that enough. And maybe that's the slight chip on my shoulder for choosing to take the uncertain path of me leaving school to pursue doing stuff with cameras that I feel like I have it in me to accomplish that, of turning something cool and something big out of using these tools that I've fallen in love with. So. Maybe I just need to spend more time figuring out what the unique thing is that makes me stand out. It's, it's something that I've spent some time doing on paper, like jotting down ideas, what traits do I want to bring to the table, and lately I've been thinking, are there things that I shouldn't bring to the table even? Like how do you make it more clear for your viewers? But I think the key is just to make more videos. Some people only need to make three videos, some people need to make 300. The amount of time it takes for everyone is unique. This, this is something that I, in, I enjoy doing. I want to get better at storytelling, at going on experiences and documenting them and conveying them and all the different things that go into making a video. You, you can't just spend all this time watching YouTube tutorials and learning and being a, a keyboard photographer, right? All that sort of stuff. You gotta actually make them. 
having spent a lot of time thinking about what is my channel, how do I define it, and how can I explain it to others? I think it is just about going through the process, learning, exploring, and sharing the journey. I don't really want to make tutorials. I would rather just get better at recording experiences. That's what I think the coolest part about my YouTube channel for myself, at least anyway, is getting to be able to go back and being like, yo, that's what I did back in March of 2019 or whatever the situation is. I don't really know how to wrap this up or conclude it, but just know we're, we're all uncertain. None of us have the answers. And the action step right now is to just keep making videos.